Hey everyone, good morning. It's Angie here and I was just coming into the office today and I had some thoughts. Uh, of course, Maureen and I were up late doing a mixer in Rylander, Wisconsin. That was amazing turnout and just so excited about that area. But anyway, I just want to pose a thought. Um, you know, we were talking about this, you know, we had basically six hours in the car and we were discussing, you know, how do you know what to take? And for some of you who've watched Dana's um, videos on, you know, vitamins and what to take, I just want to elaborate a little bit further on that. And so what do you take? What? How do you know what to take? What I want everybody to think about is if you're seeing a doctor or a different type of health professional, maybe an alternative chiropractor, acupuncturist, naturopath, maybe it's your massage therapist you get advice from, maybe it's even your hairdresser. I know I'm on my way to see mine today and um, she's very well informed and she always laughs about how many people actually want her advice. And, um, and I don't think that's funny. I mean, I actually, I think people are really struggling to try to figure out what they should take and what they should do. But here's just, I just want to post this thought for everybody. So let's just say um, you're going to your medical doctor and you have high cholesterol. Well, now there might be one medical doctor who's maybe done a lot of, you know, extra schooling. Because by the way, medical doctors, it's, I just, I spent an, um, a little bit of time talking to a trauma surgeon on Saturday and we were talking about doctors and nutrition and she said we had an optional week now this woman I, I don't think she's even 40 years old but like she said when you're when you're becoming a doctor and you're going through all of that you don't see sunlight so who knows she could be 60 but she looked about 35 40 but anyway when she was in school she said we had an optional week of nutrition that is the only possibility of hearing about nutrition that she had so when you're going to your medical doctor you might have one doctor that'll tell you yes go you know you have high cholesterol fish oil would be good for you just go to the store and buy a fish oil well first of all that's better advice than not taking it but you know what fish oil do you take I mean there's a lot of junk and fraud on the on the shelves so what do you take but here's here's the point is what about you decide you know you want to get a second opinion and you go to another doctor and he thinks fish oil could actually kill you so who do you believe what do you do it's all based on opinion it's their judgment it's a judgment call right you know you can go to a holistic practitioner you can go to somebody let's say who muscle tests, and you have muscle testing done you know at noon one day and you might need five different supplements to handle the stress going on in your body well that's reasonable because most of us have all different types of stress going through our body and it's showing up but you know an hour later you could go to another person and be muscle tested and you'd need five different things or the next day so it's a judgment call there's no evidence to prove why you need to take something when you go to see a practitioner. I mean, we do an exam where we can hit a spot on you and we can tell you you're not digesting protein, you're not digesting carbs. And our exam is through just everybody would say the same thing. However, there'd be other things that the the patient would say or we might pick up on that would be a judgment call. So though we might get the same, you know, the same outcome as far as what they would need, say, for an, a digestive enzyme, just as an example. But then we might say, boy, you know what? Because you're not sleeping, we might want to try this. And so your protocol would be different no matter who you go see because it's all based on judgment. It's all based on judgment. So that's what I love about the, the ID Life Assessment. So there is no judgment you take it and you take what it says. It is based 100% on scientific evidence from third party, not ID Life do finding people who need supplements and who have all these diseases and symptoms and conditions and saying it's ID Life doing this. No, for close to 20 years now, they have been gathering evidential proof of why we need to take things. So, you know, I'm just putting it out there because there's a lot of people that are like, you know, what is so different about ID Life compared to this company or that company? That's why we have evidence. We cross-reference your medications with your 
nutraceuticals. We cross-reference your symptoms and conditions with those medications, with the supplements. We cross-reference your family history with your medications, with your family or with your symptoms and conditions. So all these algorithms are cross-referencing, blocking what you shouldn't take because it would be dangerous, giving you what you absolutely need, all based on evidence, no judgment, no opinion, strictly scientific proof. So anyway, you guys all know somebody in ID Life or, you know, you might want to share this and, you know, it's just a matter of opening your mind because this is a brand new way of thinking about supplements. Customize vitamins. I mean, it's 2016, almost 2017, and this is just now hitting the market. And I love that we're we're part of the the movement that's going to literally turn this industry upside down. So, anyway, y'all have contacts with ID Life. You can go to their health assessment and I I suggest you take it. It's free. For one thing, it's free. What do you have to lose? Anyway, have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.